Hey guys, in this video I'll be doing a bunch of random stuff, um, just a lot of little things. I'm going to install my water pump. I got the new gaskets here. thing to do is uh, put my accessory bracket up there and see if that's gonna fit I really hope it will Wow it is actually going to fit check it out clearance about half an inch of it too so wheat that's awesome the um, Hose is even the the same size the the fittings, so it's gonna be a direct bolt on. Well, I'll make a big mess here, but it's a good mess because I'm getting this done, so I can have some power steering. I, I cut the uh, the flare off of this piece. I gotta pull this uh, tube nut off because it's too long, and put the the one on from. Uh, the old lines. It's the same size, uh, same size tube, just a different nut. Got the uh, um, high pressure line on, and uh, everything. It's looking good. All right, guys. Power steering's done. It was almost a direct bolt on. All I had to change was put that nut on there. For the high pressure side, wait, no, this one, high pressure side, and you can see we got great clearance. And I put a piece of loom around this uh, return hose so it's not rubbing on the frame. Got good clearance there, and goes up under there in the frame. So that's where I had to route it. Uh, the style of the power steering pump, the little return thing comes out right there. So worked out well, though. Got good clearance all around, and should work. So now I'll tighten down my uh, accessory bracket here and put the belt on and the fan. All right, belt is on. Tensioner is a little bit funky. Uh, it's like it's. I think the spring is shot in it, so I'm gonna have to pick one of those up at the junkyard. No big problem. So now I'm gonna stick the fan on there and um, move on to mounting my gas pedal. All right, I got my fan on. I'm just kind of a test fitting some pieces just out of curiosity here. I um, want to see if I could use this fan shroud. Looks like I'll be able to. Yeah. As long as the fan doesn't hit, I'm just gotta make sure I secure it good. And should be all right. Everything's good. I mean, it'll work. It's a nice thick plastic fan shroud. Keep the airflow nice. That's gonna be cool. Especially all cleaned up, you know, it'll match. This is what the plastic looks like when it's all cleaned up and stuff, so it's gonna look pretty cool. Once again, I got the floor swept off all nice and clean, and all the tools put away from the last project, and I'm ready to start a new one, which is mounting my electronic gas pedal. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. There's just two bolts that hold it on. Um, we've got room there. That yellow area right there 
should be enough room in that area to uh, to mount it. So uh, let me get to work. I'll give you a good look at the gas pedal here. Not a lot of people run the um, drive-by wire. I'm just running it because it was already on there and it's more work to change over to drive-by cable because you have to add some pins to the computer and a bunch of stuff. But it's really a simple simple setup. Um, I got all the parts for it now. Uh, once I get the computer tuned up for the uh, Turbo 400, it's you, you wouldn't even realize that it's a drive-by wire. You can't tell the difference. Um, so here it is, just gas pedal with a, uh, I don't know what you call these kind of uh, uh, sensors here, um, but there's a sensor in there that senses uh, what position the gas pedal is in, and then there's the connection here. And this goes to your tack box, which is mount usually mounted on the firewall. And then there's a wire from that tack box that runs into your harness and goes to this right here. And that's all there is to it. There's only one wire, uh, a Keon 12 volt wire that is going to be fused and that runs the whole deal. Found a perfect spot to mount it, um, but there, this is the original hole right here where it mounts, but there's nothing there, no, nothing uh, over there because it kind of hangs off there. So I got to drill a hole right here, and that's where it's going to mount right there, and right there, the original hole right there. All right, I got the hole drilled. I made that one a little bit bigger because I, I plan on putting slightly larger bolts in there than uh, what it came with just to give it some more strength. Alright, gas pedal is mounted. Goes all the way down to full throttle. It's awesome. And it looks like it was a uh, automatic truck all its life. You might notice that the I removed the clutch pedal. Sweet. They're aligned pretty well. A bolt there and a bolt in the top. Plenty of room. You can see for my brake to go down. It would hit the floor before it hit the sensor thing there. So that's good. There's the two bolts holding the gas pedal on. When I'm in the right mood, I'll make these little clamps um, just out of a piece of 22 gauge, cut it out with tin snips, and drill a hole through it. Other days, zip ties. All right, mounted my tack box, my tack module, whatever you want to call it, um, and I put rubber between it and the firewall. Uh, that's how I found it on the truck that I pulled this from so I just kind of did it how it, how uh, factory did it it's kind of at an angle which makes it look a little sloppy but um, very limited space over here so it's I mean not a lot of options but I'm happy with it you can see that nice little clamp I made there it holds it nice and away from the engine and then we got the original grommet out of the 2005 uh, Chevy truck that fit in the hole where the clutch linkage went through so that's pretty sweet well there's the heater box it goes over there over near the radio man that's a terrible wiring job right there on the radio I gotta redo that <clears throat> one of these days uh, those crimps, yeah, it's, it's kind of sketchy. I'll solder it all up and heat shrink and everything, make it real nice. Now I'll have really good access to it. You can see here, took the glove box, what's left of the glove box out. And um, uh, once I get this heater box out, I'll have even better access. And then at the junkyard, maybe I can find a, a new uh, glove box 
uh, insert. There's a couple of these trucks there. Who knows? They might not have any uh, good um, inserts, but I'll, I'll look anyways. It's kind of the last thing on my list, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this sucker out and free up a lot of space, even some leg room. Well, I got that most of it taken apart, and I can see where I welded up the outside uh, part of it. I'm gonna paint all the interior back to yellow well kind of like the original color and these door panels are going to be white and I'll try to find a seat that'll somewhat match but it probably end up won't it probably won't end up matching at all because I'm going to be looking for a later model seat it'll probably be gray or black or something but that's all right it'll still look nice all right that's been removed and oh man I have some good ideas but oh, all kinds of decisions Let's see if we can get some light here um, I'm trying to decide here if I want to put my heater control back in I just I like the look of that you know that old school 70s thing there I just it looks cool but then again wouldn't it be awesome to just put my gauges there I want to get a three you know, one of those uh, three uh, gauge things you know the water temperature the oil pressure and then the uh, the vault meter there I want to get one of those things and it wouldn't it be awesome to like build a plate that fits over this just like a delete plate and then punch out three holes for the gauges put it in there I think that would be awesome then again I like that heater controller so I gotta decide <laughs>